I am Dr. Ariel T. Baira, Medical Director of Vital C Health Products Incorporated. A graduate of Far Eastern University, Dr. Nicanor Reyes Medical Foundation, with a degree of Doctor of Medicine in 1982. I am a practicing OBGYN affiliated with Asian Hospital and Medical Center since 2002. I was formerly a regular staff physician at the Ministry of Health in the Republic of Palau, Trust Territory of the USA. I am also board certified in the practice of medicine in 1996. I obtained a diploma in male sexual health from Sydney, Australia in 1999. I am also a member of various medical associations and organizations. I obtained a degree of Master's in Business Administration in Healthcare Management from Ateneo Graduate School of Business in 2005. I am also a regular lecturer and instructor in nutritional and other healthcare products conducted in different areas in the Philippines. Now, chronic diseases negatively impact our lives far beyond the direct medical cost. And there are things we can do to help lessen medical events and associated costs of those diseases. We should be doing them. Our company, Vital C Health Products mission is to provide affordable health care in disease prevention and empower individuals through education to proactively manage their own health and well-being. Unfortunately, our current public health system lacks the resources in providing wellness education, much less a preventive health screening to generally assess the current state of health of our fellow men who live in remote provinces where this may not necessarily be readily available. It is very timely that we come up with definitive solutions to these growing problems. And so we conceived what we call the Wellness Consultants Certification Program. Now, this program is primarily designed to, number one, equip our distributors to understand the important effects of all vital C health products for sustainable health and wellness. Two, lifestyle changes necessary for their own journey in achieving optimum health. Three, understand what an integrative approach to health and wellness means and be able to use the information in applying it to their own health as a preventive measure against chronic lifestyle diseases. Four, most importantly, be able to present the benefits of Vital C Health products as part of the preventive health care and effectively use the Vital Resonance Analyzer machine as a complementary tool in promoting health and wellness. And finally, provide wellness education to the grassroots level, especially in the remote provinces nationwide. Vital C Health Products Incorporated is providing a unique opportunity for any distributor eagerly wanting to benefit in helping others improve their health. To be a Vital C Certified Wellness Consultant, every distributor must go through three levels of training with the company's team of medical doctors and health professionals covering basics in anatomy, physiology, microbiology, biochemistry, basic wellness assessment, and Vital C Health Products Health Benefits. It is a two to three month comprehensive program that will provide them the basic tools in promoting preventive health care and healthy lifestyle through natural means. Only after passing the three level modules can Vital C Health Products Incorporated certify them to be the company's wellness consultants. 
What can be better than to create a rewarding career by helping people improve their lives? Our wellness consultants are trained on general wellness counseling under the supervision and guidance of our licensed medical doctors. The medical team is always on hand to provide the needed additional information should any of our clients request so, as well as concerns for any pre-existing medical conditions. Our entire team of licensed medical doctors and certified wellness consultants work hand in hand to provide utmost health care and concerns of our beloved clients. Hi, I'm, I am Dr. Jose Oclarit, presently the Vice President for Product Research and Development of Vital C Health Products Incorporated. I finished my bachelor's degree in pre-medicine at Mindanao State University way back in 1979 as a state scholar. Uh, a year after that, I took my Master of Science Physiology program at the University of the Philippines under the auspices of the National Science Development Board, now the uh, DOST or the Department of Science and Technology. Before I uh, proceed to my doctor's degree, I was already recruited as a faculty member of the College of Science and Mathematics at the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology uh, since 1981. In 1990, I, I was a Japanese government scholar of the Mumbushu. I took my PhD in molecular biology and biochemistry at Hiroshima University, Hiroshima, Japan. I have taught in the collegiate level since 1981 up to present. And at present, I am now the full professor of the College of Medicine, Southwestern University in Cebu. Also the Director of Research of the University. Today, I'm going to discuss to you significance of this uh, machine, which we call the Vital Resonance Analyzer. Actually, this machine uh, is dubbed as the biofeedback analyzer or it is a machine that can um, screen or give us a picture of what is going on in the human body. This machine uh, stems from the concept of the Chinese traditional diagnostic uh, procedure or the what you call the palpation method using three fingers and putting them in the, the wrist of the patient and based on the palpations of the pulse the doctor or the traditional doctor could diagnose or more or less predict what portion of the body is malfunctioning or what part of the body is uh, in the disarray or in disorder or causing some kind of uh, abnormalities so this uh, VRA machine, machine, or what you call the Vital Resonance Analyzer, um, gives us the picture of the overall conditions of the human body. And sometimes we call this the, in the modern concept, we call it the executive checkup. The executive checkup uh, tries to um, give us a picture of what's going on in the whole or the whole body per organ systems or per per body parts or blood analysis for example you have the kidney or the urine or the uh, the heart the sounds and other uh, physical manifestations and or signs and symptoms in order to detect the abnormalities but you see a uh, conventional method of getting the uh, overall picture of the body's health is very expensive for example if you are going to take the fasting blood sugar you have to fast for a 
about 12 hours, nothing per orem or you don't have to take anything in order to take the exact value of your blood sugar. That takes about a day or a half a day. So there is what you call a uh, delay of the analysis. And another thing is when one know, wants to know what's going on with the, the heart or in the viscosity of the blood or in the cardiovascular systems, you have to extract blood. And this is a very invasive, painful, and sometimes people are afraid. But in the VRA concept, just like the Chinese uh, traditional medicine, you can take the full picture of your health, even predict what is going on in the system ahead of time in just 60 seconds. So with this concept, you are actually making the health or, or health care very affordable to people. Actually, if you are going to laboratory diagnostic centers that could uh, help analyze the different data that is needed for diagnosis of diseases. So our vital resonance analyzer serves as a effective predictive mechanism to screen sub-health conditions. Unlike in a conventional method, normally uh, signs and symptoms of a particular disease may not be seen in conventional uh, diagnosis. However, in VRA, even those uh, conditions that may may happen in the future can can already be predicted using the signals and resonance of the molecules of the organs or even the cells that are growing inside the body it is a very uh, innovative very uh, intelligent as well as very uh, shall we say the VRV machine is considered to be a very practical uh, instrument, especially in rural areas where there are no available diagnostic centers that can be used by doctors to diagnose diseases. The condition of the urine, the conditions of the lungs, and even the, the conditions of the heart. By using our VRA, we can actually predict what's going on in the system, like the digestive system, what's going on? How does the is the digestive system processing the food properly? Is the intestine absorbing nutrients properly? Or is the liver doing, doing its job correctly? Or you can also look at the kidney conditions insofar as the filtration of blood is concerned. In the cardiovascular system, is there anything wrong with the, the circulation of blood? the stroke volume for example or the cardiac output this can be predicted in a VRA but if you're going to go into a conventional um, diagnostic uh, laboratories you have to spend a lot especially in AKG machine in 2D echo but in our VRA you can actually see what's, what's going on with the, the heart it's uh, beating the conditions of the blood, the perfusion of blood, the demand of the blood in the heart, and many other systems. And also, the BRA machine can detect the minerals and vitamin deficiencies, or even the nutrient deficiencies, and all contaminations of the food uh, can also predict or can, can see or elucidate some toxins that are uh, known in the environment like arsenates we have the heavy metals as well as uh, some contaminations of radiations in the body so in short using this uh, machine we can actually shorten the time the uh, invasive uh, procedures that is uh, done in conventional diagnostic centers. The vital resonance analyzer is anchored in the principle of quantum physics. Now quantum physics talks about the atomic subparticles of molecules. Each atom 
vibrates according to its element properties. So in other words, if you are going to project this as a, as a molecule, each molecule therefore has a per certain vibration. Sugar has its own vibration, uric acid has its own vibration, and all the other components of the body of interest that could help diagnose diseases will be uh, uh, will be used, or the other word, the frequency of these molecules will be used in order to predict the conditions inside. So our vital resonance analyzer detects these signals or these vibrations according to amount or the quantity of these molecules. Uh, each molecule therefore uh, represents a particular frequency which is being picked up by this machine and magnified that into a uh, graph which is interpreted as a, the condition of that particular substance you're in question. Uh, instead of going into the laboratory uh, diagnostic center to analyze the sugar, all you have to do is just hold the rod for just one minute and then you can now see whether your sugar is above normal or below normal because the machine can detect the signal. So this is also true to all the other parameters that is used in this, uh, in this machine. As a matter of fact, our VRE machine can detect at least uh, 36 organs, 11 systems in the body. So this is practical, very, uh, very accurate for as long as it is properly, is properly instituted or administered. It has a, uh, an accuracy of about 85 to 90 percent. Uh, usually this machine cannot be used for children who are mobile because the molecules can, the signals can also be distorted if there are movements. That's why when using this machine, the patient is advised not to talk or remove all the metallic parts because this emits also radiations. This also emit a uh, kind of uh, vibrations so that uh, you can really maximize the whole picture of what you are going to analyze depending on the parameter that is being used. I'm going to be presenting a topic today, but I'm going to do it in a unique way. What we're going to talk about is something very basic, but something everybody's interested in. Let's talk about health. The first question I'm going to ask you, and I want you to think about this in your mind while I'm talking about this, is what is health? If you can't define what health is, how are you going to achieve health? So let's think about that for just a minute. What is health? There's a couple definitions of health. However, I want you to think about what it means to you as an individual. Let me give you the dictionary's definition of health. Actually, two different dictionary definitions of health. The first one is from the Webster's Dictionary. This is probably the most commonly used dictionary in the United States. Health is defined in the Webster's Dictionary as the absence of disease. However, I don't know if I like that definition too much. There's another dictionary that I use quite often called the Oxford New World Dictionary. That defines health as a state of well-being in mind, body, and spirit. That's kind of what I'm going to touch on a bit today. but. Getting back to answering your own question, what is health to you? I'm a single father of three boys. To me, health is having enough energy at the end of the day to come home to my kids and play with them. Not get tired, have the flexibility, the energy, the stamina that I need to raise my family even after a full day of work. That's what it meant to me when I first started my journey towards health. But you need to define for yourself what health means to you. I'm going to ask another question now. Now that you've kind of thought of the answer of what health means to you, here's another one. How do you develop poor health? What steps do you do every day that are leading you down a road towards disease? Or what steps are you doing every day that will lead you towards a healthy destination? Think about that. Because I have a saying that I want you to remember. Good health is not a destination. It's a journey. It is those tiny, small decisions that you make every day, that you make multiple times a day, that determine your health or the lack thereof. One of the things that I found out through my journey 
towards health is that I tend to ignore warning signs that I see day to day like warning signs on my packaged foods, warning signs uh, that may show me that there's preservatives in my food, warning signs that there might be chemicals in the toothpaste I use, in the deodorant I use, in the shampoo that I use. We tend to ignore those. And I think it's those small decisions that we make every day, whether we choose to use those products or choose not to use those products, that help lead us towards that road of good health or lead us down the path of bad health. It is those tiny decisions that we make on a day-to-day -day basis every day that determine whether we are walking down that path of good health or walking down a path of poor health. Decisions like, am I going to use canned goods or fresh foods? Am I going to use foods that are laden with pesticides versus whole foods that are organic? It's these little decisions every day that will determine your health over long periods of time. People that consult with me are always asking, how do I know what's healthy? How do I know what's not healthy? There's too many decisions to be made out there. Sometimes marketing companies tell me something that's healthy and then we find out later that it's not. Well, I'm gonna to present to you today a way to where you'll always remember what's healthy and what's not. It's a very simple program and it's easy to remember. I wanna talk about building a personal health plan just for you and your family. Do you have a financial plan? Do you have a business plan? How do you expect to retire at age 60 if you don't have a financial plan? How do you expect your business to succeed if you don't have a business plan? Well, how do you expect to be disease free if you don't have a personal health plan? So the personal health plan that I'm going to implement for you and your family today is just that. It is a plan. And plan is an acronym. It stands for purification, longevity, assimilation, and nutrition. And I want you to memorize those four words. Purification, longevity, assimilation, and nutrition. That is going to be your personal health plan. I'm Dr. Homer Lim, Integrated Head Medicine Head Consultant for Vital C Health Products. I've been practicing integrative medicine, specializing in chronic diseases such as stroke, heart disease, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and cancer. Graduating from the University of Santo Tomas, I started my career as a geriatric doctor. Seeing so many patients with chronic illnesses, not getting any better from taking conventional drugs, I opted to look for natural remedies to help my patients. And I found out that natural remedies not only help alleviate the symptoms, but can also reverse their illnesses. I therefore went to Thailand to further my training on integrative medicine and spa therapies. Chronic diseases take a heavy toll on our physical, emotional, psychological, as well as the overall quality of life. Sadly, our healthcare system today focuses on the treatment and alleviation of symptoms rather than the prevention and reversal of illnesses. Many of us believe that our health is the responsibility of the doctors, nurses, and allied health professionals. This is farther away from the truth your health is your primary responsibility. It is our in uninformed choices and incorrect lifestyles that lead us to chronic illnesses. Your power lies in the choices that you make every day. Making the right choices will ultimately lead you to a better and healthier productive life. For you to make the informed choices, you have to have the right information available. And this is what the Vital C Wellness Consultants offer. Our wellness consultants are properly trained on the proper nutrition and correct lifestyles in order for us to have a long, productive, and healthy life. Our wellness consultants are here to help and inspire you to have a healthy and productive life. Our mission is to get the word out 
and empower you to have a healthy and productive life. I would like to introduce you now our wellness consultant, Mr. Joselito Tan, to get you started on a path towards a healthier you.